We're here in Kyoto, Japan, on the back streets of Gion, or Gion, I'm actually not sure how to say it. Let's go with Gion. This is the back street, right, running parallel around, along the canal. And it's about 11 p.m. The restaurants have all largely closed and the streets are getting dark both quiet and dark as most of the diners head home with their bellies stuffed. There's certainly a few uh, folks who are stumbling around drunk as well. But the street is just really beautiful. It's got all these lanterns lit up to help guide the way, especially if you're a little bit tipsy. And we're just going for a little walk here. This is one of the streets that you should check out if you're looking for geisha. Many of them still come here to entertain and to perform. And so you'll see throughout the evening geisha walking around, although they're harder to find now especially with all the tourists and their cameras trying to snap a quick photo. Most of this is now dark. But it should give you a little bit of a taste of what the, what the whole thing, what, what it's all about here on the back streets of Kyoto. Lots of uteries. And if you want to see what a bigger street in Kyoto looks like, let's just go all these sake jugs. Let's go one street over to the canal itself and you'll see a little bit more life, actually a lot more life. In fact, it feels a little bit like a backpacker village meets ancient Japan meets Michelin star dining. <laughs> and as we turn the corner, you'll see life spring up. Here we go. Lots of clubs. And if you want to take a look at what the canal itself looks like, let's just make a little bit of a turn here across the road. Boom. The canal. And at dusk, this place is beautiful. It lights up with the setting of the sun and the turning on of the lanterns above. And like I said, a little bit of a spring break backpacker feel over there. <laughs> but everyone seems to be having a lot of fun. There you go. Just a little taste of Kyoto at night. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.